In this video, we're driving a Lexus. Cue the music. So guys, in this video we're doing something very different than usual because we're test driving a Lexus. Now this is the RC-H, the RC-300H from Lexus and it's a really nice looking car. So let's talk about the styling. These cars look awesome, they're really futuristic, it's typical Lexus and I'm really into this design language. I really like the, the back of the car, that booty though. And yeah, it's it just the line of the car. It's a sports coupe. It really looks nice But yeah, then we arrive at the interior Which I'm not such a fan of so the interior of this car has this step to layout and I don't know. It's not it's not for my taste The screen is like all the way back into the dashboard this front piece kind of hides it if you are not sitting high enough but then when you go to the instrument cluster, now this is really fancy. It changes with every mode, like you have. So the interior is quite nice for a luxury car. The seats are good. The dashboard isn't really my style, but... And then you have the center console, which is mostly the part I hate the most about this car, I got to say. Because it's too plastic. Come on, Lexus, you can do better than this. You have this nice brushed aluminium over here down where the, the logo of the stereo system is and then you have this plastic up, upper piece but for everything else this looks cool it has the nice the door trim is really nicely done with the different shapes and such as I like I said the instrument cluster is really beautiful the only thing the set navs really doesn't match with, with this with the cluster but it works and it has nice a nice interface just this touch, I've heard a lot of reviewers saying that this touch can be a bit finicky but I've been using it and it works quite fine. The only thing I miss, and my friend also said this, was that it misses a hard return button to go through the menus. But that's about it. Otherwise the steering is really light in the eco mode as we're driving right now. And yeah, let's talk about the driving car. So this car is the 300H, it has a hybrid system, it has a normal 2.5 petrol engine in the front and an electric hybrid system. It makes about 220 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque, uh, which isn't the main criteria for this car. If you really want a performance model, you should go with the RCF, which gets the V8, or if you want no hybrid system, there's a 200T version, which is just a 2-liter petrol engine. Now, the driving. We're, at the moment we're in eco mode, it's a cruise missile. It's just an awesome car to go on long journeys with without having too much issue. So right now we're just driving in eco, the hybrid system is kicking in, we're not doing a lot and we're saving a lot of fuel. So then you have the mode sports and sport plus. Now this car is quite heavy so the engine isn't really that sporty. This has adaptive suspension which does make it a bit stiffer and the throttle response is a lot better when you go in the Sport and the Sport Plus modes. But the car, yes, it, it ain't no crew, it, it ain't no speed car, it ain't no supercar. It's just a really nice looking cruise car, GT, whatever you want. And yeah, it's just... This car is made for people who just want to go from point A to point B and look really stylish. The seats are really good there. In comparison to my to my Recaros and my Miata, these are almost the same kind of feel. And if you are in a pinch and you need to get somewhere fast, this car will still boot it if you put it to the floor. Okay, so now we're at sport mode. We just have a straight piece of road. We're gonna slow down a bit. We're in sport and we're gonna boot it. In three, two, one.
But for all you guys wondering, wow, that made a lot of sound. It's fake. I'm really sorry, but this engine doesn't sound like a V8. When you're in the car, you have this little dial over here at the driver's side, which gives you like an amplified sound of your engine, and you can set the volume. This was full volume. It is a nice sound to hear when you're driving, though. It makes you feel like you're really driving in an awesome car. Now, when you're driving this car, you do feel the weight a lot. When you go into a corner, the car does settle a bit in the corners, but like I said, it's a cruise missile, which can behave a bit like a sports car if you drive it like you should. So what are the things you need to keep in mind about the Lexus RC300H? Now the first thing I have to say is the design. The car looks stunning. It's this nice long sports coupe with futuristic lines and styling. I really like the look of it. Secondly, it's an awesome GT car. If you're looking for a car for long distance driving, this is one you should really consider. It's nice and comfortable and it really likes to eat the miles. Then the car I tested today had the adaptive suspension which really made the car stiffen up in the Sport and Sport Plus mode but even then you still felt the weight so it is a heavy car because of the hybrid system so keep that in mind if you're looking for driving characteristics. Then the next thing you need to keep in mind is the infotainment system. The UI does look a bit dated. It does work fine though but the UI could use a bit of a fresh up. And that's where I'm gonna end this week's video guys, I hope you all enjoyed my first ever car review video of this awesome Lexus 300h. I wanna thank the people over at the carshooters.com car blog for letting me test out their car and I'll link their full article in the description below. Now if you liked the video be sure to hit the like button if you have any questions about the car or about my opinion on the car post them in the comments, I'll read all the comments and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. But that's where I'm gonna leave it for this week guys, have a good week. See you next time.